ask any Ukrainian which is the country's finest castle, and many will say Khotin Fortress, which overlooks the Dniester River. Khotin Fortress has long attracted the attention of researchers, travelers, and lovers of antiquity. Now, not only the historic castle attracts visitors in the city, in the surrounding area, there is active entertainment for adventure seekers. Well, let's start. Hello, lady. Hello, my friend. Hello, mom. Hello, dad. Hello, guys. Here we are. We're in the beginning of a new episode. Yes, we are. Yeah, and that's my present for you. Oh, thank you. You look really nice. Yeah, so do you. Yeah, yeah, really? Well, it's a traditional hat here uh, in Ukraine. People from villages used to wear it. And they told me that nowadays, because hips are everywhere, you could even wear it downtown in city center. So why not? We are in a really, really, really nice fortress. Its name is? Hotin. And mm -hmm. it's a very important, it's like the most important uh, historical monument in uh, Ukraine. It was a very strong fortress. Mm -hmm. It was hard uh, to take uh, control over okay. from outsiders. Mm -hmm. And also, if they try to do it, the punishment will be really hard. Let's try and check how it looks inside, maybe. It might look nice. Yes, let's okay. do that. Follow us! <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can really see this powerful fortress. Actually, uh, it was uh, a kind of uh, landmark. That region, whoever could manage to captivate it, that has the general control of the region, right? Yeah, everyone wanted it, this mm, fortress. For sure. So it has like has had many different citizenships, mm. you can say, because they had different like owners or owners. takers. Yeah. Actually, it's really impressive. It's like. Um, Hollywood studios that try to uh, recreate a fortress mm. and we have the opportunity to be here in a really important fortress. This walls has seen so much when it comes to victories and defeats like em total empires has been like uh, went down and empires <laughs> went up so, so it's really really historic, important uh, yeah, historical, historical fortress. Walls. So Let's go and talk with that walls and see... Have a drink with them and hear their stories. With walls up to 40 meters high and 6 meters thick, today's stone fortress was built in the 15th century, replacing an earlier wooden structure. Its location safeguarded river trade routes, making it a sought-after prize. Inside the fortress walls, there isn't a whole lot to see, but it's really the large riverfront grounds that make the place. Some of the outer fortification walls remain, and you can clamber precariously over these. But whatever you do, don't forget to bring a picnic. Do you know what, that this fortress yes. can actually boast about that it had its autonomous source of drinking water. Really? That means that they could, they didn't need to go out to get water. So that's one of the secrets that was so strong, right? Yeah. When so you're independent. They, yeah. they were independent and uh, they could remain impregnable so and, and not be under siege because they didn't need to get out to get water. And the, dr uh, and the, and the well was uh, drilled 10 meters tens of meters down uh, 600 years ago so, so it's really, quite old it really looks something how it's wanna look and it's cool that it actually helped them to keep to not be under siege because that's like if they ran out of water or food that would be a problem for them uh, and it would be easier to to uh, attack it Hello, good Hello. morning, good Dimitrius. Morning. Nice Hello. to meet you. Nice Hi, to meet you. Jonna, nice to meet you. I'll tell you a few words about our castle, so For if sure. you can find me, yeah, come yeah. here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It would be nice to show that to camera, maybe. Can you? Please. So, we are here. That's right. That's the place that we are here now. 
that was firstly uh, built by Moldova, Moldovian people, right? Yes. And then we have the second castle, as we said, is a castle in another castle that was built from Turkish. Okay? Yes, you are yeah. right. Nice. It's true. First of all, our state historical yeah, architectural, yeah. architectural reserve, it's two in a single. We have Moldavian castle, we mm -hmm. are inside it. We are here now, yeah. right? Yeah. We are here. This is our uh, southwest tower. This one? This one, yes. Oh, okay. This tower? Yes, yeah. this is it. Mm -hmm. This is River Dniester, over here. Ah, oh, the place, uh, the river inside us. In you front of us, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this is another one, Turkish fortress, around this, this castle. This was built in 15th century, and this one in 18th century. This one by Moldavians and this one by Turkish people. Turkish people. So actually it's a castle in another castle. Yes. A kind of, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is our uh, reserve. And um, we are in the south yard. Mm -hmm. You can see well in the middle. It has 57 meters deep. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a water. You can drink it if you want. Oh, this one? Yes, yes, yes. This, this is, is the well, yeah, we're talking mm -hmm. about. Uh, we have three basements um, under um, houses and uh, houses for soldiers, of course. Uh, we have church over there. Uh, it was a mosque with a minaret. You can see it over here. Oh, oh so this is like the heritage from the Turks. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because we've been in many, many castles, mm -hmm. but this actually inside the interior, as we can see here, and I feel it here, has a Turkish aesthetic in a way. I don't know how to translate it, but it's in the air that Turkish people have been here. Mm -hmm. I can, yeah, I can understand it. It's like Minaret, I don't know. Uh, like very thin high tower. Mm. And uh, another one minaret was, Moscow's minaret was over here. You can see it uh, in front of the church. Yes. But it was destroyed, and um, you know. All so now we have only one minaret, right? We don't have any more. No, no, oh, no, 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 they, they destroyed. Yeah, we, oh, they can't see it. Only this small part near the window. It's all everything we can have. We have now. That's all. Of course, uh, we have uh, this house with red and brick, uh, red, red and bricks. white yeah, yeah, and white bricks. bricks. Yes. This is the house of commandant, yeah. kind of director of the fortress. <laughs> he lives there. Um, we can go to see it closer. Sure, sure. Later on. Yeah. Later on. And um, we have a second yard behind it for a commandant and his family. Ah, here. Over here. We are here. Yeah, this is Correct. the tower. Yeah, the one. Like the this, because the river over there. And ah, yeah, yeah. In 15th century, Moldavian king. Stefan III the Great decided to build here, here a fortress because of two reasons. First of all, there was a border between Moldavian Kingdom and Poland Kingdom. Ah, and Poland Kingdom. Yes. Mm. And the second reason, custom trade. And fortress bring some money to its owner. Yeah. That's why it was built over here. To, to bring taxes, you mean? Yes, oh, yes, okay. yes. So it was a kind of gate to pass the borders, right? Yes, mm. yes no. No. customs. Yeah, very good. Yeah, <laughs> you understand yeah. everything very clearly. <laughs> no, we've been in so many <laughs> castles, so now, you know, there's yeah, specific the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the custom trade. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, let's go. This is our church. In 1980s, archaeologists found them a little coffin with a skeleton of little girl. She was around five or six years old. She died in 1612. Because of what? We don't know. But she was a granddaughter of commandant and maybe that's why she was buried over here. And of course, uh, in church believe that two, seven years, people, uh, children don't, uh, they're like angels. Maybe, Are they still uh, innocent? Yes, like yes. Maybe that's why she was buried here. But this is the only, I don't know, uh, coffin, that, you coffin yeah. that we find ever okay. at all the territory. Where they used to be, uh, when after life came to an end, I mean, where are the uh, people buried? Or yeah, 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 buried, yes. Uh, maybe something 
over here and over there, not on the territory of the fortress. Okay, so outside. Outside, outside of that, uh, of these two castles, people who were dead were put uh, under the earth, right? Yes. They were buried. Yeah, you're right. And this is Moldavian castle. Now we'll go around it and uh, we'll see some Turkish fortress and I'll tell you a few words about it, okay? Mm -hmm. Cool, so cool. Let's go. Let's go on. Oh, thank you. Hotin Fortress invites you to travel back in time, exploring a well-preserved territory of the fortress and listening to its legends. This fortress really impresses people by its power and impregnability, and it's one of the best preserved fortifications. Every year, thousands of tourists from all over the world visit it. Many people remember the fortress on the riverbank by the famous movies. Filmmakers often used it as a piece of scenery for episodes of many movies. The fortress was built of limestone. The plan of the castle is an irregular oval. It's surrounded by eight meter thick walls reinforced by five powerful towers. The outer surface of the walls, decorated with red brick paved ornament geometric motifs, are close to Podila art. As you see, over there, our red spot, as I told you. Ah, the girl that was uh, crying. She, she's crying now, maybe. It's, it's, it's always, it's yeah. always wet. It's always wet. Really? Many, many years. And maybe 100 years, it's always wet. But it uh, could be explained uh, in a different way, apart from the, the myth, legend. the legend. Just uh, our walls have five meters six, six to protect. They're too thick, right? Five meters like this. I mean, this. Wow. <laughs> and two, two times like this. Three, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, to protect the warriors from the uh, catapults. Yeah, yeah. Ah, from the catapults. From, yeah, from the catapults. And this fortress around us with escarpment uh, hills and uh, um, stone walls was built to protect us from cannons. Mm. Okay. That's why we have two fortresses. One from catapults and one another one from cannons. So, this is our castle from Lower Point. Uh, can you see, uh, as you can see, it's very huge. It's pretty impressive from yeah. this point of view. It's really high, right? Here. Yeah. How, yeah. Many, how many meters? Uh, we thought 67 meters. Oh, it's over huge. Over here too. Yeah, yeah, to the top, yeah. And uh, our fortress around also very big. And for, and this. And, yes, you can see there and see it later. And um, as you understood we have really two fortresses. We have Moldavian castle over here, here and Turkish fortress. So it there. seems that the Moldavian castle used to be more strong. In 15th century, yeah. yes. But in 18th century few cannons can destroy it. Mm. In a day, I think. Ah, okay, so that's why they needed all that Turkish new castle to yes. be built. To protect it even more. Yeah. So we are here on the hill to see the old one castle over here. This one, the Moldovian one, right? Yes, mm. you are right. <laughs> the first one. Okay. And uh, the second one is around us. And here, here, the round. Okay. It's very good view over here. So mm -hmm. uh, this is our state historical architectural reserve, Hotin Fortress. I think it's one, probably the coolest one we've seen so far. Yeah, yeah, the coolest fortress in a way, yeah, sure, it's, how can I say that, um, more interesting and more vibrant as a location, you know, it's not stiff, you, you can do many things here, right? Yeah, and it feels, I mean, you can sense that it's very impressive and... Uh, thank you so much, thank you're you lovely, much. thank you so <laughs> thank much. You, thank yeah, you, thank you so happy. much. For, yeah, you it was a pleasure for us too. So, let's go to our next exploration. Yeah. Join us. <laughs> A 
After our walking trip through Hotin Fortress, we decided to explore the most popular adventure activity in the neighboring city. Well, most of the time <laughs> we've been crying that we have only to visit castles and museums and exhibitions. But here we are in a different activity. Yes, a very different activity. Yes. Uh, this is a military car. Yeah, it's, it's going like to be our car. The model is it. Yeah, it's going to be our car for this evening. And we're going to have, uh, we're going to experience it, right? In which mm, way? Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, this car is an amphibia car. Yeah, so we're going to be into water both on land and in water. And it's yeah. pretty exciting. How do you feel? I'm, I'm very excited because I never uh, gone by this kind of car before. Okay. Have you? I have done it when I was in the Greek army and I was uh, doing my daddy's there. Oh, so, so you're familiar we have with done the car? That. Yeah, yeah, okay. but with weapons and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, it, I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Are you ready? I am so ready. Okay, let's see how it's gonna look. But it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> how, how is your nerves, baby? <laughs> like wins? Yeah, we're like. It's like being on a dunk, you're made in a ball. And, uh, it's but. Like, um, dunk. Because yeah. of the terrain as well? Yeah, be careful. My head, my head, my head, my head. <laughs> well, actually, and again! <laughs> it's funny because now we're gonna go to the river. Like that. Clap, no, be careful. Oh! Yay! <laughs> now no we're in the water! No yeah! Way. No way. This is so cool! <laughs> no way. I love this. It's so nice. <laughs> no. It wasn't anything. It was. Uh... <laughs> I have it. It wasn't anything. Oh, shut up. <laughs> be like that in the jungle of flowers and Greece, be careful. You mean Tarzan and Jane? Yeah, in Greece, Tarzan and Jane. Uh, you are Tarzan or Jane? No, okay, no, we won't give labels, okay? <laughs> no, we can you, take you have to take a guess. <laughs> what, you? They have to take a guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is who? Um, so, the sun is shining. Uh, and so are you. I'm fine. I really had a nice time. <laughs> Club, take your, your head. Uh, and it was a unique way to, to see a city uh, like never before, you know? Usually you have two guides or uh, on a bus, uh, like tourist buses. But it's not a tourist bus, actually, it's more an experience bus. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just super fun and it was action and I really enjoyed that. Yeah, so don't miss out. You have to do that for sure. Yeah, you should try it out. It's pretty cool. Or it's really cool, to be honest.
Messi! <laughs> yes! Thanks God we are here. <laughs> Thanks God that we can touch the floor. The ground actually, yeah, I'm just joking. It was really, really nice, but really intense for I me. thought it was super fun and really, yeah, really yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, we had fun. It was super much action. We were yeah. going like this, yeah, we were like going like this, that, we were going like this water, and that. Yes, it was just super cool. And I, I really appreciated this, this ride. Yeah, me too, yeah, yeah, me too, okay? Yeah, so you have to try it. Yeah, for sure, sure, sure. And, and the guides are amazing and uh, wants you to feel safe but at the same time wants you to um, to exaggerate yourself and to be more in the lim on the edges so yeah it's funny for sure <laughs> yeah you were, you did a good job <laughs> thank you, you guys <laughs> okay thank you continue <laughs> Here we are, we are in the same city, its name is... Kamanjet Podilski. And can you see the, the architecture is quite good. Yes. They're making that stuff and I'm on the world. We are here as now. We're so ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to look at it, so just do it what you have to. I just need a cigarette now <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. and very, very fast. Yes. <laughs> ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, go. Cool. Oh. I thought it would be a bit faster, to be honest. Uh, but it was a nice view. 